Sander Pro is brought to you by Drev.se, service and spare parts for your fishing boat. JR Logistic, staffing and recruitment of truck drivers and warehouse workers since 2004. And Kingfisher Angelresen, fishing trips to some of the best destinations in the world. Good evening ladies and welcome to the second day of Sander Pro. Today we're leaving all the fancy electronics and fast boats behind as we're going back to the roots and are forcing all teams to do shore fishing and shore fishing only. This will certainly push some of the teams far outside their comfort zones while others are better prepared. We're starting off with a blank scoreboard for the day, except three of the teams who secured one point each on the first day. Nace, who got the top five point, Albu Garcia Berkeley with the big fish point, and Roadhouse Fish, who smashed the number point. Three more points will be handed out today and we have absolutely no idea what to expect from the fishing, which makes this even more exciting. Welcome to Shore Day! Welcome on day two from Zander Pro! Welcome! This is the Westin team again. Today we're gonna fish from the bank. A totally different ball game than yesterday. Yeah, today uh, we are going for numbers. There is a good amount of numbers here, you yep. think? Yep. Uh, some of them are not so big, but if we can catch uh, plenty of fish, some of them are over 45. Uh, let's hope there are some bigger fish. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. Let's go. go for it, come on. Yeah. Two time zones away in the western regions of Spain, Team Rodhouse Fish are on their way to the water. They were absolutely killing the numbers on the first day with 30 sanders caught, but now that they're forced to fish from the shore, it's a completely new challenge and they won't be able to fish the same spots. Instead, they'll be fishing a beautiful river connected to the lake they fished yesterday and I can't wait to see if they'll manage to catch some pretty sanders from here. Hello everybody, welcome to the third episode of Zandon Pro. Uh, my name is Stefan. My name is Tony, welcome in Spain guys. We, we are the Roadhouse and Fish team. Um, yesterday was a pretty good day with good numbers and it was good and fun for us. But today the rules change and uh, what do you think Tony uh, today from the shore on this spot? It smells the score points for the number. Uh, we we up we up we 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 go for good numbers. We will see. But the weather is pretty good. The place is pretty good. The weather level is pretty good. So hopefully we will catch a, a good number of zanders. Today we decided to to go up the the spot of yesterday. Uh, it's a big river, and we will fish the the bed of the river. Um, we find this spot during the pre-fishing. We we try many places, but here we caught. Uh, a good number of, of zanders. It's medium and small sizes, but uh, we hope to, to catch good numbers. So, okay, Stefan, yeah. let's take the first cast of Zander Pro Day Two. Yeah, go, go for it. Oh, man, I'm gonna start with one of my favorites in Holland, where I fish a lot. This one, this one, it's my guarantee go-to lure. Yeah, it's good. Nine centimeter shetties, five perch. I caught so many big fish on it. Big fish, big perch, big sander. It should work here in Finland. Yeah, it's also good yeah. in Finland. Let's go, let's go. All right, first cast of the day. Here we go, here we go, here we go. I couldn't ask for better weather than this. It's quite deep there. Yep, I let my this is the deepest place. Yeah. There is more shallow. I'm waiting, my lead is going to the bottom, so I wait now. And soon when it's on the bottom, I start to retrieve. Yeah, it's on the bottom, yeah. So. Small twitchings. Try to keep contact with my lead on the bottom. So I'm in the striking zone. This is the style for the coming 10 hours. It would be nice if you have a bite in the first cast. Don't you think so? Yeah, absolutely. If I see how many fish there is in the surface, there is a lot of fish here. A lot of bait fish. Yeah, yeah I had a, a bite, had a bite. Correct. Small bite, but I had a bite. This rod is so sensitive. I feel it when they smell on my lure. Let's hope we find a, a hot spot somewhere. Yep. A few square meters with a lot of fish. It's always like that when you fish from the bank. You also have to find the, the hot spot in the hot spot, how I call it. Sometimes you have a spot from 100 meters who is really productive, but a few square meters can make the dif difference. But they will come. They will come. Yeah, bite again. Bite. Good. Not, not that far. Again. Yeah. Ah! Another okay. good bite. Very, very short. Very short. 
Okay. But that's cool. That's cool. I have, I have action. There is action. That's good. There is a lot of fish. So there is action. Why are they not hanging? Maybe the, the, the lure is a little bit too big. I'm going to try a 7 cm. This is 9 cm. I'm going to try the same color because I have a reaction. 7 cm. Maybe this is easier to, uh, to inhale. Because 3 bites, it's not too bad. One size smaller. Oh, I missed one. one. Yep. First cast with the new bullies, 9 centimeters. And uh, I have had a good bite. We have some problems. We are uh, on our first uh, spot and uh, we hammered our car down in the mud. Help is on our way, but uh, a good start of the day. <laughs> Things are not really going CWC's and Vestine's way so far. Car stuck in the mud for CWC and plenty of missed bites for Vestine. After trying several different lures, Hanno is finally hooked up and in order for the fish to be approved, it has to be 45 centimeters. This? Yep. You need the net? Not big one. Too small length, you see yep. that? I have to check it because it's close to 45. We go check it. Nope. 42, 42 centimeters. New build is uh, 9 centimeters. New size. Seems like it's uh, good. Let's put it back. <laughs> the first sander of Shorty has officially been caught, but unfortunately, it was 3 tiny centimeters too short. After, let's call it an unintended coffee break, help has arrived to CWC fishing team, so now Evert and Leon are ready for their epic comeback. Welcome back, episode 3, Zender Pro. This day, no boat, it's shore fishing day. We are here at the lake in the Netherlands. It's like uh, a nice lake. We have our Gemino Ursuit waters. We can walk along the, the banks on the drop-offs. Our tactics of today is drop shot fishing. Leon will fish with the piglet and Small. I will fish with the tournament baits baby frog. And uh, ah, I hope we can catch some uh, zenders from the shore. Some big ones and more than yesterday. Hopefully. Yes. It feels like a little bit different without my boat. A little bit uh, like naked. But to be uh, naked. <laughs> it is what it is. It's, it's a new, uh, new game into the competition. And of course we are doing it. And uh, ah, Let's uh, keep on hammering. Exactly. Let's go for the first cast of first the second cast. day. I go. Fish. Good job, Tony. Yes. Beautiful sand. Good job, Tony. Cool. Good job. The first one, first one of the day, 56. Beautiful sander. 56, okay. 56. Good job, yeah. With uh, baby sander. I'm gonna release it gently. Just like the first day, Team Roadhouse Fish delivers the first approved fish of the morning. 56 cm Spanish sander on the black minnow. Well done. Over in Finland, the struggle to catch an approved fish continues for Hanno and Luke. Feels not bad. This is 46 cm. I feel it. <laughs> On a motor roll. 9 cm motor roll. I can try to. Yeah, I'm not sure. I, I think it's not enough. No, it's not enough. No. It's, not enough, but... it's only 36. Here we go. Yeah. Good job, good job. Please let it be 46 at least. Please, please, please. Yep. There is a lot of fish, but a lot of small fish. 37. Bye bye, my friend. Up, 9 cm motor hole. Three cast, two fish. Hmm. I just put the hook very light. I, I like to fish with a big hook and just put it so you have a lot of free space to hook the fish, you see. Just put it in the nose and they swallow it. Most of the time, Zander take the head and they straight have the hook. So, let's go. Yeah, again. Yeah, it's bigger. This can be a bigger one. This can ah, be a bigger good, one. Good, 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 good. Yep. So much wishful thinking, wishful thinking. But it's bigger than the other ones. I think this one goes to 42 or something. 
Oh man, it is bigger, but it's only only 40 centimeter. This was sender number four already. Five, five, I think. five, and no, nothing above the minimum size. Ah. Yeah, yeah, again. Size? I'm afraid to say about the size because uh, mm. it feels good, but yeah. I can't never make my nuts because you are catching so much fish all the time. All this, the time. Oh, this it looks like a maybe. Yeah, 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 but it's so wishful thinking, man. Need to be sure. Uh, oh, oh, you can lift it like that. Okay, that's good. A little bit bigger again. 40, 40. Thank you. Call your mother. The lead is about 40 centimeters away from the hook. That's very good for a standard. If I start to drop shot, I use only about 40 centimeters away from the hook. We cannot help with catching small fish because there are many small fish, of course. But if there are any bigger, you will see them. Unbelievable. Six sanders caught by Bestine already, but still no approved one. Down in Spain, Stefan and Tony are slowly and methodically working their way along the shoreline, covering as much water as possible. Uh, uh, uh. Pike! It's a pike! Fish? Ah, miss! I think it's not a zander. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's a big pike? Yeah. Yes, it's a good one, but not the right fish. Yes, thank you, Tony. It's a nice fish, but not the one we want. Oh, it's not fly versus jerk. Oh. It's not fly versus jerk, but it's a nice fish. Good, so good, good, good job. Nice pike. It's a good fish. Oh. This on. I just changed to a, a lead head instead of drop shot because I lost my drop. Ay, it comes off, it was under size anyway. Under size, first cast with a lead head, 10 gram. One good advice I can give you when you put a lead head on a shed is the back needs to be nice, straight. Many people don't know that. What I like is that you can put your finger just underneath so the point in the back of the shed has a lot of free space to hook the fish. This is perfect when you have a nice straight back. The technique I use with the lead head is a little bit different than drop shooting. I wind up like 20 cm, so the lure comes up 20 cm, and then I let it go again to the bottom. This moment when it goes to the bottom is very important because 99 from the bites, 90% of the bites they come when your lure is when your lure is going back to the bottom very slowly. Then you can feel a tick and you have to react very fast to set the hook. Always use uh, your lead head as light as possible, but as heavy as necessary because if you don't feel what you are doing you're fishing too light it's all about searching for the right balance 10 gram is a good good basic even when the water is deep like here at, ah, at a bite when the water is deep like i think we are fishing now on yeah seven Fish. eight meters deep small one yep very small one yeah there's a lot of fish here a lot of fish and again i would think this is bigger but I'm afraid to say. This feels like maybe, just maybe, 42, 42 centimeter. 42 centimeter. <laughs> Shit is gold. Motor all gold, it's working. Is there a perch? What do you think it was? Uh, well, I think it was perch. Hmm. Spot number two. We just came from the lake. We had some strikes, but no fish so far. This is a new tactic, the bridges. Normally you can catch some zenders here, so uh, yeah, hopefully we have some luck over here. Keep on hammering, Evert, and I'm sure you'll catch something. Just like the first day, the teams are free to choose when to start their 10 hours of fishing, and while team Quantum Angelspecie are on their way to the water, Abu and Nace will focus on the evening once again. Today there will be one last phone report of the competition at 3 p.m., where the teams will reveal their result as well as where they are fishing. In Finland, team Vestin are still trying to put their first approved sander on the board. We have a fish with every cast almost but uh, they are not big enough for this competition yeah we have a bite every cast every cast i think this might be approved fish let's see Shit. Uh, i have to check it because it's uh, so close to the approved bring this what are we called 
seems like a good color for this day. I think this is approved fish. I hope, man. Look, looks like. Say yes. I'm so curious. <sighs> not. It's just not. I don't know. Oh. No, we can't make it. Oh. It's almost, but no. 44. 44. 44. 44. Can you believe that? 44. I think we have eight line fish. Oh, man, this is so frustrating. Every time, every cast I have a bite, every cast. And um, they are all under 45 centimeter, not even close, 40, 42. It's so frustrating. The problem is, we have no other places where we can go from the bank. So this is the only place, my friends say, in the uh, whole Finland, where it's able to get some zander now from the bank. So we have to stay here, we, we cannot move, we have to stay here and we have to hope on a bigger fish. These are the exact same challenges that many of us are dealing with when shore fishing. Having a limited amount of spots to choose from and quite often combined with high fishing pressure at the best ones. Team Rodhouse Fish are working the shoreline meter by meter and now Stefan just caught them the third sander of the morning. It's uh, 55. Hop là. Oh! Fish number... Three. Three. Yes. Okay. I uh, oh. I will change my uh, my lure. Because, it's a pikey. Uh, <laughs> Stefan, uh, I uh, have a lot of bite with a uh, more aggressive color. I put on my line uh, a mud digger mango juice. It looks like uh, a cocktail. We have a three sander. Now uh, we're going to take a four sander with a mud digger. Wait. Oh, fish on. I just changed my lure to, for a mud digger and first cast with it, first bite. It's a, a small zander. Fish on. Yeah. Good oh, <laughs> so good. Look at the, the mud digger here. Wow. <laughs> That's cool. I put my, uh, my rod here. Look, look at this. This is the mud digger. Mango juice. Ah. It's a 50, 51. It's a beautiful girl. I click the two fish, fish number four and fish number five. 60? Yeah, to knee. 60, okay? Yes. Okay. Yeah, good job. Time for the report. Yeah, first hour. Uh, first hour, uh, number total. We have uh, five fish. Five fish? Yeah. Biggest fish? 60. 60 centimeters. Okay, it's a, it's a good start for the first hour, for us. Let's continue the plain uh, walk. Let's go. Bonjour, good morning, good morning, dobry dien, uh, dobre utra. Here at Zander Pro, Team Quantum and English PC are ready for Zander Pro third episode for the takeoff. And we are here in the middle of the Netherlands in a beautiful city and we are right about to start at 10 o'clock to get our first fish, so stay tuned. I start fishing with the um, BS, pink one, pink lady. Very, very nice and a hot color for some darker waters. And here the water is not very clear. You can see probably 30 centimeters, 40 centimeters. And it's an ideal color for this type of uh, fishing. Fish, oh, come. first cast and a strike and a second strike. Good strike. Ah, that shouldn't happen. Ah. Oh, three strikes in a row. They love the pink one. Tension is in the air. I'm uh, changing colors a little bit. I have to do that because I know they are there, the Zanders, but um, in some cases they are a little bit um, picky and uh, Colors can, uh, can make a big difference. Sometimes they go for the really bright ones. The next day they prefer some more browny colors. And you see here are, I would say, as many bicycles as you can see here around are also lying here on the bottom. So you have a lot of problems and you lose a lot of baits. But nevertheless, the Zanders are there in between and they are the ones we are looking after. <laughs> Spot number three, again a bridge. The tactic here is uh, very light jigging. I use the five gram owner hook, and in this case, uh, in natural color, the piglet shed. 
why uh, five gram? Because it's it's not that deep and it's it's like uh, muddy water, a soft bottom, and if you use uh, heavy sinkers, then it will constantly into the the bottom. So five grams uh, will do the job. It's um, approximately four meters deep, a little bit uh, with a current in it, uh, because here's the fresh water is going out to the sea. When there's a little current, the fish uh, most of the time active. Not this day. I think they uh, they uh, they got a day off. I think I have a approved fish now. Close, at least. Yeah, Let's yeah, check yeah, it. I yeah, think this yeah, is approved. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I can tell you one thing. Yeah. There are three boats here. They are not catching what yeah, they are I catching. See it. Yeah, I yeah. They are catching way more from the bank. Yep. So that's fun. <laughs> oh my god, how is it possible? It's, it's approved. Yep. Just 45. 45 and a half. <sighs> at least one. Well done, man. Yes. 45 and a half. Big fish. <laughs> <laughs> 45 and a half. <laughs> 25 centers later, Team Vestine have the first approved fish on the board. Well done. Yeah, today we're uh, fishing from the shore. This is uh, pretty nice because this is easy. Also, if you want to go after the work, this is easy. You need one rod and you can go everywhere so easy. So I like it, yeah. I also like fishing with the boat, but the boat fishing needs every, every day more time. So this is the easy way and can have a lot of good fish also. This is the spring worm from Angelspecie. He have smell, he have a good color. We have a lot of different color, but I like to try the white one. I fish now in this place because the shadow is here and the shadow is there, a small one. I think the thunder stay close to them and I hope we can get one soon. Look, we have here, this is... Rodin? This is Rodin and this is our future in fishing and he was so excited watching both of us fishing here. So we give him some stuff for trying that out. Um, Rodin, kijk eens. Um, we hebben hier wat kunstras voor jou. Neem je rustig mee. Je weet wat leuke plekken nu. En dan kan je gewoon lekker wat snoekbaas vangen en bazen. Ik denk dat je dat mooi vindt. Afgesproken? Ja. Kijk, en um, alsjeblieft. Dankjewel. Oké, okay. veel plezier daarmee, hè? Ja. Oké. Okay. Doei. Doei. Who knows, maybe that was a future Center Pro contestant right there. What an awesome little dude. It's now 11 o'clock and Team Abu Garcia Berkeley are about to hit the water. Yeah, good morning guys. Uh, day two for Team Abu Garcia. We are heading out to some uh, shore fishing today. It's a beautiful morning, sun is shining, the wind is gone. And uh, yeah, I think it's going to be a good day, Freddy. Yeah, we leave our comfort zone completely uh, today. We are doing a style of fishing that we are not doing a lot. Basically, I haven't done it for many, many years. So uh, watch out for what's happening today and uh, hopefully we catch some fish, right? Yeah, for sure. We, today we need them. Today, <laughs> today we need them. Today we need some numbers, yes. The first hour was pretty good, we had many fish, but the second hour was very hard, we struggled, uh, we had no fish, we changed many places, we changed the lures. So short fishing day is hard, so let's continue. Patrick, this is the next spot. Yeah. It's under the bridge, shadow, a little bit of current. Yeah. You like it? Yeah, this is what I like. Okay, this is good. Let's, uh, let's move. Yeah, I'm sure we get one. Just arrived the first fishing spot. We brought a friend, Simon is over there with his boat. <laughs> so we're going to use his boat now and to go from one spot to the next. From spot hopping. Th thanks to our buddy Simon, who's really giving the boat. That's awesome. We yeah. have much more time for fishing than driving the car from one area to the next. Before someone goes crazy in the comments, yes, it is allowed to use a boat for transport, but not to fish from it. We start, one starts big. I think so I will start one. Big starts one. medium. Yeah. And then we drop shot at the and end. And then we drop shot at the end. See if we can, can yeah. get out. We have all the spots with three yeah. techniques. I think that's the best we can okay, do Okay, then one medium. This guy. Well, wait, let's maybe try. Try some different color. Yeah, yeah this color looks really nice. Or a really small one on this one. Change it, make the, this one on, the, on, the, on this one, on this rod. And then this one and this one. I think that would be the best choice. Let's try. Simon, thanks a lot. Let's go <laughs> and fish. See you later. <laughs> so, we left the shore and we already arrived at the fishing spot. <laughs> Beautiful. We're already here. So, let's put the boat there to the side. Okay, let's see who's going to fall in the water the first today. Can you take the anchor, Freddy? That goes perfectly. I, I should have brought my climbing shoes. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay, let's do this. 
It's really ghetto style fishing. Street fishing. <laughs> yeah, fourth, fifth spot of the day. We just arrived. It's a, it's a quite industrial spot right on the bridge. Urban fishing today. And uh, yeah, shall we do it? First yeah. cast of the day. Let's go. Let's see if someone is Let's on here. Let's go. It would be interesting if the fish is more in the shade oh. or if it's more the structure that they are like connected to because like when the current goes through here those bridges it makes like a little deep hole here and I don't really know if they are more in the hole or if they are more in the in the shade of the bridge today. Well I think it's I hope for the shade. Yeah me too. That's, well the sun is strong today so. Yeah I think too they will be in the shade. During training it was overcasted so the shade wasn't really making the difference but yeah. now Heavy sun, so it's really strong light. So I think it's uh, the, sh the shape might be the one. Yeah, let's hope for that. Oh, fish! <laughs> we forgot the net. <laughs> oh shit! We are so it's, amateurs it's with fishing. It's a small, small fish. Might be a perch. Oh, a small tender. Uh, it's not 45, no? Uh, oh. Let's do a bass landing. Whoa, 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 whoop. That's not 45. No. Oh. Is it? No. Ah, uh, should be too small, right? Yeah. 43. <laughs> Man. It? Is it? I don't... Do I take the leaderboard? I don't think so. No, no. we don't. <laughs> no, we don't, we don't take it. I'm uh, happy that there's actually fish, so we got contact right away. So let's hope for something uh, 45 plus. That's what we need. Quick release. First fish of the day. At least there's nothing on my car today. But, of course, I brought the Berkeley uh, starter kit because today is short day and maybe I will catch something with that. So, let's prepare everything. Good morning, everyone. Tim Nays is here again and we're like excited for the short day. And the short day is kind of my speciality because I've been fishing a lot here in the Netherlands the last like two years. And then I've been doing a lot of shore fishing for Sander. And if we are lucky, we might get the big fish point today and the top five point. I don't think we will get the numbers, but if we can get two points today, it will be like amazing. Then I think we have a good chance to win if we had uh, a point yesterday. So this is the boat of Team Abu. Toby, I think we should make a, a hole in it, but somewhere where they don't see it. No, but the thing is, they are really good at sharpshooting, like doing pelagic style. So if you can, if you just break this one, yeah. they don't, they will not have a sonar. Don't, don't film it, don't film it. No, we are sportsmen, we don't do that. I think it's going to be really interesting to see what the teams are doing today, because kind of none of the other teams are shore anglers and they don't like to fish it from the shore. Like, Freddy Harbour, they complained about the shore day. They said, uh, now uh, I'm it feels like I'm 10 years old again fishing from the shore. Yeah, me too. Yeah, um, you too. But I'm happy that I have you in the team. Yeah, I like shore but, fishing. But I mean, pre-fishing uh, pre uh, went quite well, so I hope it will be the same yeah. today. I mean, the weather is totally different. Sun, no wind. Uh, but yeah, you never know. Let's go. And I would love to see Erik Ostam fishing from the shore. I think he hates it. But I think he keeps it, on hammering. Yes, he keeps on hammering. <laughs> okay, let's go. This is spot number four. So far, not any strike so far. But that's fishing. We have still the whole afternoon. But it is what it is. And uh, yeah, I hope uh, we can catch some uh, fish for you guys in this episode. Evert is well known for always catching nice sanders in Perch Pro, but today they don't want to cooperate. Instead... It's not on Perch Pro. But uh, we have some fish. Oh, fish! Big one. Might be a pike. Oi, 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 oi. I think it's a pike. Can you bring the net, Freddy? Oh. Yeah, pike. Huh? And that's the rod. I have no, uh, no hard moon on it. Pike? Yeah, pike. Nice strike. <laughs> Good to get warm, huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, awesome. Actually, there's... Look at this. What the there was, there was another drop shot rig. Someone probably hooked it before. <laughs> she probably saved this guy. Funny. Little pike. Bridge pike. Good fight on light tackle. But not really what we want. But anyways, it's, it's training. We need to get warm. Fish us warm. And those guys, of course, help us to get a good feeling for the spot and it's fun so we're still here for fun that's awesome nice 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 little pike see you buddy yeah 
Yeah, first fish of this uh, of this spot. No Zander, unfortunately. It was a good fight. Small pike. But uh, let's see if there's a Zander around. Yeah, while Timo was catching the pike, I changed to the drop shot rod. And I got a bite on a little bit bigger plastic bait. And uh, I will try to get the fish with the drop shot now. Usually they are not biting again. They are so careful here because fishing pressure is really high. But sometimes you get lucky. And also there should be more fish than the just this one sander. And if there's nothing happening, then we're going to take the boat and drive to the next bridge. We both, Freddy and I, we both have two, two setups always with us. The drop shot rig and uh, a jig rod. So we have uh, two setups. We all, always try to adapt. So we first uh, car do a few casts jigging. And then if, if it's not working, if it's not happening, but we have uh, faith and trust into that spot, we take the drop shot rod and do a few more casts. So we try to be flexible and see what the fish is, uh, what the fish like, because those bridges, they are just the hot spots. The, so the fish is always here. There's, these bridges are holding fish. We just need to get them to bite. And that's where we need to change tactics, change how we present the, the baits. And uh, we hope for the bite, of course. The bite is still on for Team Vestine, but despite catching fish in almost every cast, they still only have one approved sander on the board. Maybe, 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 maybe. Yeah, yeah this is good size. Yes, this is maybe, 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 I think so. 45, maybe. Please, 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 please. Yeah, 45, 45 nice. and a half. 45 and a half. Mwah. Love it. Might have a also. 45 and a half, man. Ah. Yeah. This is close. Close, close. So close. And a few millimeters. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Good. 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 Good job. <laughs> oh, it's. Yeah. Let's put it back. Yeah. Wants to, yeah. wants to go back. So. Oui. Well done, mate. So maybe the small ones are gone now. We all caught them. Like yesterday, we caught yeah. first. We have to go to Pike. Then we start to catch uh, the Zander. <laughs> now we caught all the small ones, now we go for the big ones. Okay, let's, let's work. I love it. Zander fishing from the bank. I love it. No electronics. Just on the feeling, on your feelings. Everybody can do it. It's, uh, you just have to learn it a little bit. But if you watch this very good, the style that we are fishing, everybody can catch the Zander like that. And it doesn't matter if it is one of uh, 42 or it is one from 65. It doesn't matter. It's just the style of fishing that's uh, very effective. Good fish, good fish. Good fish? Can Do you need help? This can be a one. This can be a 45. Do you need help? No, no. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It looks good. It looks good. It looks good. It looks good. Yeah. I tell you, it looks good. Yeah. It was very short. This is a 45. I've become a specialist now to feel the difference. Yeah. yeah, 45. Just, just 45. Good job. Yes, 45. Up rough fish? Yes. Maybe, 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 maybe just maybe. Do you need just help? No, no, no. It feels good. It yeah. feels really good, good. good. Yeah, yeah, upgrader. This is not. Oh, I have it. Yes, yeah, yes, good yes, job. Good yes, job. Upgrader, good upgrader, job. upgrader. Good job. Oh, yes, yes. 46 centimeter. Mambo number five. Yeah. And just like that, a couple of quick ones and Team Vestine have filled the paper with five approved fish. You better watch your back, Stefan and Tony. After a great start, the fishing has slowed down significantly in Spain. So right now, we will try a new lure on this spot to change of vibration. I use the Mud Digger and the Black Minnow. It works this morning, but now, right now it's pretty slow. So I'm going to, to try this new lure. It's the new Crazy Paddle Tail, 65 millimeters. The vibration is different. Sometimes the key is to, to find the right vibration. So let's try it. Yes, fish on. Oh, it's a small one. I rep it counts. But I will measure it. Look at how this under took my crazy paddle tail. Look how it take it. Crazy. Yeah. Yes. 48. Fish number seven. <coughs> Whoa. -ho -ho. Good. For show fishing, I use a, a blank, more length, uh, 8 foot, 2.40 uh, meters. It's a NFC uh, rod blank designed by uh, Gary Loomis. 
it's very sensitive despite that length uh, and this length allows me to reach a good throw distance and uh, it's very sensitive uh, despite that length every time when the fish attack my biter i get the impression that my heart will come will jump out of my chest so much yeah. it will fast pom 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 i adrenaline it's pumping it's a very good sensation I can just imagine the feeling of catching fish with a rod that you have designed and built yourself. And if you want to get started in the wonderful sport of rod building, feel free to check out rodhouse.com for literally everything you need. Going back to Holland, Patrick in Team Quantum Angelspecie just hooked the first fish of the day. Fish? Yeah. Looks about like a perch. First cast. First cast. In the new spot. Uh, what do we have? It's a little Xander on the pink one. Great. So Xander is here. Yeah. Too small, but yeah. more will follow. Yeah. First cast, very nice, but not big enough. Here we go. So we went to the new spot because not so much sunshine in this place and a little bit big. So we have the water move a little bit. First cast, first fish. We will see what happens later. But at the moment, it looks like good. Now we have some more competition. Like you can see, uh, People see that we are catching from the boats, so they are coming closer and closer. Personally, I would never do that if I have a boat. I would never fish in front from people from the bank because yeah, they can fish over the whole lake and we only can stand here. So, But yeah, what can you say? The water is from everyone. <laughs> ah, it will be very close. I think that's number six. Yeah, good Hanu. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, it's the big, biggest one of the day. 40. 47. 47. 47, a record yeah. fish. <laughs> 47 oh. centimeter record for here. Good, good. Very good. Number six. Six fish to Vestine, seven to Rodhouse fish, and still zero to all the others. Team Abu Garcia Berkeley are on the move, running and gunning from bridge to bridge, hoping to come across some active sanders hunting in the shadows. Going to fish the spot 10 15 minutes until we continue. There we go. Fish! Net! Oh, small sander. Must be a small sander. Huh? It's, it's a small sander. Well, it's funny, I changed the color to the yellow one. That's interesting. Shall we measure? We need to. Let's measure this time. Come yeah. on. That's kind of the food, the food of the fish we caught yesterday. <laughs> but the funny thing is, I, uh, I changed the color to yellow. Let's measure. And I'm fishing, well, I don't know, five minutes. First bite. So let's see. Maybe the yellow color works better than the white one that I used before. So guys, this is far away from what we need. <laughs> 38 centimeters. Oh my God. Not really what we need, but fun. Oh, fish. Better one. That's, I think it's a Xander. Yeah, should be a Xander. Xander? Yeah, net. Just bring the net. That, that man, it could be 45 plus. Whoa! I think that's it's 45 plus. Isn't I was it? never so happy about a small center <laughs> my whole life. Man! <laughs> I think it's, it should be 45. I think it's 45. Yeah. <laughs> let's have a look. Oh, let's see. I, it's just close. I just changed color, right? It's close. Here we go. Not often we are happy, as happy as we are now about a 40 centimeter center. Awesome fish. Urban city. Urban fishing today. <laughs> it's look, so funny. Look at this I mean, little fella. I mean, literally, the fish that we caught yesterday could have eaten this one. And this Man. is actually worth more than the big ones yesterday. <laughs> Small fish, big smile. <laughs> okay. 49. Yay! I was fishing uh, the Berkeley Sick Vibe on the drop shot rig. Just changed the color to lighter pattern. And first cast, this massive 49 centimeter beauty. Slammed <laughs> my lure on the drop shot rig. Oh, so happy. Well, it's such a small fish, but man, what a smile. <laughs> it's not a, we are so happy about such a small fish, but man, this, this was, that's a relief. It's the first fish we can actually count for today. And uh, let's hope there's more under this bridge. Let's release this little guy. Next one. <laughs> nice. The happiness generated by a fish is always related to how hard it was to catch and that's what we love about shore fishing. Bigger challenge, bigger smile. Now Dietmar also has a promising fish on the hook. Yeah! Yeah! 
Ah, oh, such a long time. And I hope it's, it might be, it might be the size. Yes, pink lady did it. It's not a huge one, but yeah, 51. It's 51. We have the first fish on the scoreboard. Whew, it's really a cool place to fish. I love street fishing. It's a lot of walking, of course, involved. But uh, if you get such a beauty fish, then it really deserves that kind of effort. On such high places, you really need a long landing net. And uh, you also need to be a little bit acrobatic. Bye bye. And the bigger one will come, hopefully. It's half past one and Team Nace are soon arriving at their spot. They will then have a little more than one hour of fishing until it's time for the phone report. Guten Tag, liebe Schuschauer. Hello, everyone. How do you say it in Swedish? Hey, Anna. Hey, Anna. We are a little bit early because we want to fish in the night. And what's the time? It's, we still have half an hour left. So we have to wait here in the sun, maybe. And this is like not the big fish spot. No. Because we don't have a big fish spot during the day. So now we just want to catch something. And here, uh, always when we were training, we were catching them immediately. Yes. So we should do like 10 cast maximum on every, like there's some points here. And there's like an eddy behind it, where the sander are standing, yeah. quite shallow. So we're gonna do like 10 casts in the shallows and then just move on to the next one and really do some running down, but from the shore. Yes. Really try to, try to find them. It's good because it's cold today. So it's nice to move a bit. That seems to be a common theme of all teams except Vestin, moving a lot and covering as much water as possible. Another common thread seems to be bridges and other man-made structures providing shelter and shade for the sanders. Spot number five, we never give up, keep on hammering and uh, we are still in for the win. Fish? Yeah! Yes. It's number 10. Number 10. Yes, Tony. Yes, Good fan. job. Yeah, I don't know how, much, how many I got today, but uh, together 50, 60. Yeah, because we are still catching fish, but it's a uh, kind of slow put. Yeah, yeah. Maybe every 10 or 5 cast you get one fish. If the limit would be like 42, as in Finland here. We would have so much, many, many fish more. The rain is back, so I just changed the technique now, started with the drop shot again. I fished a lot of times, with, uh, did a lot of cast with a normal lead head and a shed. But uh, the bites are not coming anymore. But I do still have the feeling there is some fish. And I just changed with the drop shot lure now. And thank God, with this rain I have a very good winter suit. This one is nice and waterproof. And it keeps me, it keeps me warm for the coming hours, because uh, I don't want to be wet. In this weather, I still have to fish for the coming four hours. You never know what mother nature will throw at you when fishing, so you better come well prepared. Some say a bit of rain turns the fish on, and others claim it to completely kill the action. Down in Spain, they seem to like it at least. Yeah, it's a good one. Maybe this one is for the top five. It's not big, but yes, 58. 58, number 13. Let's release it. Ah. 58. Improvement. Impro it's an improvement five. with the rain. Perhaps fish will be active this afternoon with the rain. So let's continue. So one hour to go. Then it's uh, three o'clock. And I'm very curious because uh, it would be int very interesting to see what the other uh, teams have caught. We have six now, for the last two hours we are still catching fish, but nothing above the minimum. And it's very interesting to know about the other guys. Will they catch more? Will they catch bigger? Who knows? Tomorrow we will not have a report, so then it's a big mystery who will be the winner. Very interesting. So Dietmar, now we have two fish, but only one, one. is big enough. Correct. But now we start to get more. Ho Let's do it. Hopefully you are we right. Do. We I do. But I'm sure. <laughs> Finally, Team Nace are entering the bank and they're planning to repeat the success of day one by saving plenty of time for the evening party. It's now two o'clock, so once again, they'll be allowed to fish until midnight. During training, we tried a lot. We tried smaller and we tried this, and this one was absolutely the best one. So I'm gonna start with the Nace Predator 5 inch again, and in the color C 
Oh, one, because that one works best during training and you don't want to try too many things uh, while doing the competition. You want to have everything prepared and ready and, and tested. So this has been what's worked best. We're here on a spot where we don't expect really big fish. That's why I also use a small predator, not the smallest one, but a medium size. And later in the night I will fish again 20 centimeter version in order to get the big fish. So first cast of Zender Pro 2020 episode 3. I hope we will catch some. Good luck, Toby. Good luck. Oh, it's shallow here. Yeah, but it's fish here. I would say three casts, then we walk away. Yes. Because it's also really clear the water co what comes out here. You see there, it's more muddy. Okay, let's go. Yes. Okay, first spot, no fish, but we just did three casts. And now we move on. Hope to get the big ones. There we go. Better one, no? I think it's Zander. I think it's a better one. Yeah. It's looks De better. Decent fish. Woohoo! That's a good fish. Yeah! <laughs> Yes! <laughs> yes! Dream fishing, Xander. That's that's another 45 plus. Nice. Yes, <laughs> got fire buddy. Boom boom. Drop shot is delivering today, man. This massive tank of fish. <laughs> Timo, you're awesome. 48. <laughs> so happy, Freddy. Small fish, man, but <laughs> it's so fun. <laughs> City, downtown fishing, urban, right yeah. under the bridge. Luckily, I'm fishing yeah. with a drop shot master. He's going to, he's destroying the bridge completely with his drop shot rig. <laughs> awesome, man. Yeah. Well Let's done. Let's get this one back. Yeah. Woohoo! Yes. With the mad digger. And the small black Nino. Ooh, improvement. Um, it's a uh, yes, uh, fifty. No, sixty. Sixty-two. Sixty-two. We can do forty-six. No problem. What is it? Sixty-two. Yeah. Fifteen fish. One, two, uh, fifteen fish. Fifteen, 15 fish. Fifteen fish. Yes. Want to go to the top? I can do it. You can do go wherever you want. You can go where. I had one on the top and I had one there. We're closing in on the three o'clock phone report, and after a slow start, the bite seems to have turned on for Team Aubrey Garcia Berkeley. Fish, fish, nice. Yes! yes! <laughs> <laughs> nice, buddy. Eh? Awesome. Look at this beauty. Ah, nice. Sick vibe. Killer drop shot bait. Uh, I fished to the piles. I did a cast like two meters in front of the piles. I didn't catch anything. And then I did a little bit closer to the piles. And then this massive tank <laughs> was biting. <laughs> but but that's, uh, that should be 50 plus. Yeah, I think so. Let's hope for that. I think it's 50. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, it's 52. Nice. I couldn't believe I got a bite. Three fish. Yeah. Two to go. It's a beautiful center, actually. It is. Really Look at those huge fins and this really just uh, in good shape. Okay, it's almost time for the lunch report. So we have to put in the last fish that we caught. It's a 52 centimeter and a 48 centimeter. Wonderful. Yeah. So two more and then, uh, then we, we have the five full and then we can upgrade. Yeah. Okay. Time. Time Let's to hit the water again. <laughs> Close call. <laughs> this is how exciting fishing looks like. They are biting now. We have to hurry up. Man, here, here we are going to catch now. Ah, it's nice and deep there. 16. Yeah. Go. 17. Woo! Woo! Mad, mad digger. Mad digger. 57. Yeah, it's an improvement. It's crazy. Yes, yeah, fish on. <laughs> no. Now it's still 15 minutes before we call the other guys for the report. So let's try to, to have another fish before. Uh, it doesn't feel good. We should, I think, uh, leave the spot totally. Not just next, like, what do you think? I think we should leave it, yes. Doesn't feel good. No. Oh, I had a fish. F 
I had a fish, Toby. Should we stay? No. But another cast? Sure. I think Dietmar has a good chance to win today. Why? Because he knows a lot of water from the shore and he's fishing a lot from the shore as well. Patrick, in a few moments we know all about the other teams. The, the number of fish, the yeah. places where they fish. So uh, I'm very, very curious, um, especially with uh, our French team from Fish and Rodhouse. Are they in the Netherlands or are they really in France? I think they are yeah. in France. And uh, also, uh, well, with Team Nice and Dustin and Toby, I think they went to the Netherlands. Same goes with uh, Evert from CVC. They will, they well, stay in the Netherlands as well. Why should they go to a different place? And uh, the same goes uh, for Freddy from Abu and Timo Russia. And yeah, and uh, my good old friend uh, Luc and his uh, Finnish partner. They will definitely stay in the Netherlands. That's that's for sure. So so Westin team also, Westin team also in the Netherlands. But what about the fish, Patrick? What do you think? How many fish uh, they will put I have on not paper? so good feeling today. We are very unhappy today, unlucky today. Yeah. But I think the most of them or maybe all have the five fish. Okay. This is what I think. And I think also the biggest five is 315 to 325 already. centimeters already. Yeah, already. So I think uh, you and me, we have a hard evening today. And then we will see. Yeah. I don't, uh, I do not agree with you. Hopefully uh, I'm right. I don't think that all teams have five fish. A lot of them will struggle, I think, but uh, we will see in a few moments. Yeah. Okay, I think it's uh, about time for a report. Yeah. Now we will know if we are doing a good job or not today. <laughs> we will see that. I know we are doing a good job, but is it good enough? That's the yeah. big question. Yep. We worked very hard for it. I think we caught now... Maybe 70 or 80 At fish. least 80 fish yeah. together. 80 fish we caught together. We are now 8 hours non-stop casting. Non-stop casting, we caught so many fish. We only have 6 above 45 centimeters, but uh, <coughs> easily we have 80 fish. Yep. So many fish we caught. Now it's interesting to hear the report. Hello everybody. This is uh, team catch with a care. We are uh, fishing in the Netherlands on the small uh, channels, urban, and we have the crazy amount of zero zenders. Hi everyone, it's uh, Tobias from Team Nace. We haven't caught a single fish yet and uh, we are fishing a river in the Netherlands. This is uh, Team Abu Garcia. And we are in south of Netherlands fishing a small urban channel. We have three fish with the total score of 149 centimeters with a top fish of 52 centimeters. Uh, here is Quantum and Angelspeet Sea. We are in the Netherlands as well. We are fishing urban style in a beautiful city in the middle of the Netherlands. We have one fish with 51 centimeters. Hello, hello, we are Team Westin. We are fishing in beautiful Finland. And we have a total fish above the minimum from six. Biggest fish, Luke? Biggest fish, uh, biggest fish is uh, 47. Seven. And top five? Top five, you don't know, really? Oh, uh, 228. 228, 228, 228. <laughs> Hello everyone, it's team Rodhouse and Fish. We have 17 fish. Our biggest one is 62. Top 5 is 292. We are in the south of Spain. Good. Perfect. Nice, nice to talk with you. Okay, goodbye. Goodbye everyone. Good luck. Thanks guys. Bye. Have Thanks. fun. Have fun. Bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> bye bye guys. Take care, bye bye. Okay, bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Tight lines, tight lines, bye. Bye bye. Yeah! Three points. No, it's not It's not finished. Uh, it's not it, finished, it's but not it's, finished, a, but it's a good result for us. 
Wow. It's a very good result. It's good. It's good for us. Fish, fishing seems to be very difficult, very hard for everyone. But wow. <laughs> good. For the number point, I think it's, it's pretty good. For the top five and three the biggest. Point. For the moment. Three yeah, point yeah. For the moment. For the top, for the top five and the, the biggest, we have to wait because if some, if, if many many teams fish in the dark, yeah, 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 everything is possible. But for the number point, it's it's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, Tony. Yes. Actually, that's good. We are leading from the Dutch teams with a 52 centimeter sander. But there are two more teams early fishing. That's what the funny. heck? I that's would have never expected no, that. No, that's awesome. That's actually really cool. And uh, well, the team in Spain, that's where I lived actually before. I lived five years in Spain. So probably they're fishing in my old neighborhood. And 17 fish is really good for there as well, especially from the shore. 62 centimeters, it's not a big fish. So no. I think we need to we can focus on the, on the big fish point because the numbers one. we cannot beat, but no. the big fish point. So we need to go all in on big fish now. Yeah. As simple as that. Time for one big one. We don't even need five, you know? We don't even need five. No. We need just one big fish, that's it. No. Simple. As simple as that. As simple as that. <laughs> Especially if you fish urban style. And the no. 52 centimeter sander is already kind of personal best style. Awesome. No. I love it. Easy. Perfect. Easy peasy. Okay, that's good. Good report. Nice. Let's go. Mm, nothing that spectacular. No. Nothing at all. We can easily beat this. No, but what's the biggest fish of uh, Quantum? Of Quantum 51. They have one uh, and it's 51. Uh, and the one of... Uh, of Abu, I mean. Of Abu, uh, 52. Okay. And uh, we still have six approved fish, biggest one, 47. Yeah. <laughs> Crazy. So I think now, of course, we are still in the game. It's easy to say with zero fish, but I yes. think, um, yeah, we have, uh, it's not like I think, oh, f they are unbeatable. No, 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 not for sure. Not yeah. for sure. Well, we do it like uh, yesterday. We saved the best for the last. Yeah. I hope it will happen, but that's not just our tactic. I'm 100% sure that Abu will do the same. Yes, and uh, maybe catch with care. Catch like care. Everyone was fishing uh, street fishing, kind of, in Netherlands. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, well, well, well. Four teams in the Netherlands, one in Finland and one in Spain. Yeah, the only thing what we can do is uh, next spot, spot number six and uh, try to uh, be the best and catch the biggest. And, well, and end up Amsterdam, I think? Yeah, probably Amsterdam. And if you don't catch uh, any fish, you're going to be drunk in Amsterdam. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well guys, sorry to uh, let you down on this episode. We didn't catch a single fish, but hey, that's fishing. Uh, no excuses. Uh, it's all to blame on us. We didn't find uh, the right spots because uh, people uh, have 17 fish, so they uh, yeah, know it better than us. Uh, I can't make you any promises, but we will keep up the good work and try to do our best to uh, keep all the fans uh, proud for us. Well, keep up the thumbs for us, for uh, Catch With Care fishing team and see you in the next episode, episode four. Thanks for watching. Keep Bye -bye. on hammering. Woo. Yeah. Unbelievable. I told you. Yeah. Told you the, the, the teams in the Netherlands are, are messing up with zero fish and one or three. Yeah. And uh, fish is not in, it's not in France, this but in Spain. Yeah. And uh, Westin is in Finland, I told you. Uh, Luke, uh, Luke is in Finland together with his friend and they, they know a water for tomorrow when they do um, pelagic fishing. Yeah. They will come with a huge number of big fish because that's his home water. So for us, this is uh, no good. We will never, we will never get uh, more than 20 zenders today. No. I would say, um, Patrick, let's try for a bigger one because 63 centimeters is uh, nothing to worry about. 63, yeah. And uh, if we are lucky, we can get in some something like 70 or 80. So let's try the big fish. Yeah, because, the um, big fish in the evening. So we will move, and uh, we have uh, a plan, a plan A for big fish, and that will be the plan to follow the next few hours. And we will have some beautiful surroundings, not so urban like now, but uh, nicer places. Yeah, you see us. Bye bye. Okay, so, so CBC, zero fish, Nace, zero fish, T 
team fish. They are fishing in Spain. They have uh, a lot of fish. A lot of 17? 17. Okay. 17, biggest in 60 centimeters. They are fishing in, in Spain, in the river in Spain. Given the circumstances, I'm happy. Yeah, me too. Only I would I would like to switch with the guys in Spain because of the weather. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a good one, but okay, it is what it is. Yeah. Now we go for uh, two hours more. Okay, let's, go, right. let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. So everybody, the day is not ended, but we keep fighting until the end. And goodbye, see you next week. Yeah. You know, sometimes you are demotivated after having a resort. But we haven't been yet. No. We have been more motivated. Of yes. <laughs> Even though we haven't caught a single fish. A single fish. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Okay, let's go. Keep on hammering, like Ivat would say. Hammering. Bye. Bye. Auf Wiedersehen. Hey, Dua. Hey, Dua. Nu ska vi fånga en stor When? That was an interesting start of the shore day, folks, with very mixed results. Team Rodhouse Fish are holding the number point with 17 sanders, as well as the Big Fish point with 62 centimeters and the top 5 point with 292, giving them a score of 4 points in the total. The other teams have a long way to go, but let me tell you, this is far from over and I can promise you, you do not want to miss the next episode. Before we leave, I just want to give a huge shout out to my fellow countryman, Mr. Hanno Vesaranta, who failed to catch a big one in this episode, so it probably felt pretty good last week as he managed to catch a new personal best sander, the by far biggest sander ever caught in Scandinavia, and as far as I know, a potential world record. Crazy 15.3 kilos and 103 centimeter beast of a sander caught on an 18 centimeter bull tease. Head over to Hanno's Instagram to get the full story and make sure to give him a follow. That was it for now. My name is Mille Pettersson and you have been watching Sander Pro. See you guys next week.